What's up, YouTube people? What's going on? Today we are here on God's Country. Farming Simulator 17. Yes, sir. Reed. Your host with uh, not the most. But I'm getting better. I'm getting better, folks. Uh, I'm going to start off with a little bit something different this morning. Or well, it's actually evening time for me. But, uh... I was going to do this field off screen and stuff like that and stuff, but I think I'm going to do it on screen and talk to y'all a little bit. Because I want to send a, a very, very big special thanks to Yankees Outdoors Adventures for having me on his beat and greet. Folks, he is a awesome, awesome fella. You know, supporting his community like that and stuff. And, and I already gained like four or five uh, extra family members off of that, and that is awesome, you know. So, uh, let me get started right here. I got him on the follow me mod. I'm gonna hop out, jump in this, and do this in myself. But, folks, yes, he is an awesome guy, and like I said, you know, I do shout outs on Sundays. Let that down. Um, so yeah, um, just want to say a big, big thank you to you, Mr. Yankee, for having me on there. I, I know this video is kind of late, but my videos are pre-recorded, folks. You know, this in here is going to come out Tuesday, but I'm recording it on a Friday evening. So yes, folks, that's how much my videos are ahead. So if anything special comes out, it, it'll be like a, a 11 o'clock a.m. Central Time for me. And uh, if, if I make a special bulletin or something, or a special video, it usually is around 11 a.m. And my other videos come out at 2 p.m. But also, I want to give a... There's a lot of people I give thanks to because uh, Colin Julian Vlogs and, and lots of other people, AG, Baby Girl Val, they all been supporting, helping us. Tons of other folks. I can't miss everybody. This this would be a lot of four hour video. But what I'm doing here is just mowing this grass because I'm fixing to plow this make this a bigger field instead of two it'll be a one and it might just be a grass field uh, I know you're probably saying well why don't you just leave the grass there and plant the field well it don't quite work that way I would have to do it like whoa wait a minute oh whoa, whoa why ain't you picking up you're not on. That would be a good reason why. Who are you driving at? Sally. Sally forgot to turn the machine on, sweetheart. You can't make sure mine's still down. Yep. Let's get rid of this ugly square box up here. Uh, let's see. We gotta do some planting. I want to buy a special planner, but I don't know if I'll do it this episode or not. Um, also, when y'all see this, yeah, it should be getting closer to time that I'm going to be taking my vacation. Uh, me, mom, the kids, my dad's going to stay here and babysit the house. But uh, we're going to go to the lake for a uh, Halloween uh, is it Halloween slash Thanksgiving festival uh, they do pu pumpkin carvings and face paintings and mini games and stuff like that and it's really fun kids enjoy it my mom likes it because it's up you know around the trees and stuff and, and getting back to Mr. Yankee there you know, he said in his video he pulled me outside the box. He sure did. He 
actually got me thinking. You know, I don't work. I do side jobs. I don't call it work. You know, I make good money at it when I can. I do scrapping and cans. I collect cans, stuff like that. You know, I just but it, it pays the bills. It's not a constant income. You know, if you don't get out there and do anything, you, you don't make that. But anyway, with that being said, I'm throwing me off subject there a little bit. I always do that. But I used to go hunt. And now, you know, I'm. I hate to say this because I. I'm not disabled, disabled, but I'm kind of messed up in my lower back. Oh, got a lag or autosave or something like that. But anyway, what I'm saying is I can't walk too good. You know, I got, I got, I'm normal, but like every 10 minutes or so, I have to sit down because my back gets hurting real bad and my lower leg is like a, the nerve that goes, either the nerve or the artery or something that goes from your hip down to your ankle, starts heating up and burning, and then my leg starts hurting. But, um, yeah, you know, so I can't walk very long. So, usually I'll go like five or ten minutes walking, sit down for about five minutes, and then, you know, walk some more, sit walk set that's how I do out in the woods uh, a couple years ago when I went hunting you know let me back up and rephrase we say a few things I used to work on the farm and back in 2000 well actually back in 99 I was working for Fred Austin and I was the foreman and stuff you know, time I got where I was at. Started off as a seed monkey, and within two years I became foreman because one of the guys that was foreman left. So I got my own service truck, working on the tractors and stuff, keeping everything going. Well, I got, um, how can I say, it? I got over, not overwhelmed, but. I don't know what the word is. I got where I was in too big of a hurry all the time. I was always trying to get stuff done to please everybody, you know, to please the boss, please the other guys and stuff. And I got where I got in so big of a hurry. You know, these big old John Deere tractors that swivel in the middle. Well, I was driving one now, and this guy hollered and said, you know, front wheel fell off the tractor and well, I'll be there in a little bit and I ran over it. You know how you get kind of upset when something happens, don't go your way and stuff. Uh oh, can we make it up this hill? But anyway, instead of going down the tractor like I was supposed to, I kind of went down it like a firefighter went down a flagpole. And that was not good. I already got down to there, so I'm just going to make a circle here. But I slid it down, and I thought I twisted my ankle because it was hurting in that area. And by that evening, you know, I was going around the farm limping, trying to still do my job and stuff. But by that evening, my whole leg was hurt, even my lower back on my right side. Don't find out it wasn't my ankle. I pinched a nerve in my lower back, like from my tailbone up, there's like the third and fourth vertebrae this or whatever it's called. And yeah, I pinched a nerve. So basically I I got well I wouldn't call it sick, but you know, I got out of well, I couldn't do that. So I had to start missing work, going to the doctor and stuff, and come find out near a chiropractor, and he fixed my back. Well, by that time, 
the farmer didn't want me no more because I missed so much work. And so I found me another job at Walmart. And I ended up working at Walmart for 10 years, folks. If I worked another three months, I would have had 11 years. I got I got the 10 year plaque, I got the 10 year button. That was awesome. And then it was like, I don't know. I, I like about three, three or four months from having my 11 years in. I started getting sick, really sick. I was starting to get dizzy a lot. Just didn't feel like moving. It was getting hard to wake up in the mornings. And so I went to my family doctor. It had been a while since I've been to a doctor. You know, it was 10 years since my back messed up. And come find out I was partial diabetic didn't pay no attention to it whatsoever I, you know I just blew it off I'm like well I'll I just lay off the sodas quit eating and stuff like I was and, well I started getting better and another month passed and it hit me hard it hit me in my legs and my lower back so that's pretty much the story on that for me. But the reason why I'm saying all that is because, you know, I used to go hunting and stuff and it got hard for me to go, so I quit doing it. And pretty much, you know, I lost my job at Walmart and went to work back on a farm and stuff. Couldn't do the stuff I did do and I just got depressed and stuff and I started sitting around the house and sat around the house for about five years. And then, uh, you know, life just went to crap, but I found God, God found me, and I got my life back straight. Now I'm doing side jobs, like, uh, like read water meters and stuff for this one city if I want to, and pick up cans, scrap. I'll go out and ask these farmers, you know, like when they've got coverage and stuff, they put new ones in, leave the old ones there. Like, hey, can I have that? Get out of your way and stuff. And um, they're like, well, yeah, sure. And they're really amazed because of the setup I got. Y'all probably seen that on my videos. Y'all awesome with a setup. Alright, y'all probably getting tired of seeing this. You yeah, know, I think I got pretty much all this done. I'm on a D hire. The guy behind me. I'll go park this on the side over here. Finish getting that little bit of grass there up, and then I'll start to uh, plow. Get our new track tractor there. Park right here. Oh, don't need that. Uh, I think we're pretty good down here. Whoop, I raised that up. But anyway, folks, I am doing good now. I have this hunky dory, peachy weechy, lemon squeezy. My favorite show right now is The Fear of the Walking Dead and The Walking Dead. Did I get that grapper? No, I did not. How much wood we got? Yeah, we got plenty of wood. We're right, close to what I want. Tires are up good. But now I'm making my living on side jobs and, and stuff like that. And now I'll record some. I'll record a couple, like, maybe today I'll record all day long, and then maybe tomorrow I'll record some. Then I go in, edit, 
but where I do my videos now, um, don't do nothing in between as far as cuts and stuff. Uh, it's less to edit that way. I can just go in, throw my title, and then throw my ending on, and uh, let it render, and then upload it to YouTube, and I'm done. Or well, kind of done. I put my end screen and stuff on. Uh oh, folks. Look at there. That is awesome. But, uh, I'm still wanting to get some people to play with me. I know that sounds wrong, but <laughs> y'all know what I mean. I, I got the mods on uh, Pleasant Valley V3 done. And, um, let's go this way. I think there's a we whip that thing around. Watch the BFBL road. Oh man. Gotta go this way. But anyway, I, I got mods down to 9.93 gigabytes. That's a lot of mods, folks. I, mean, I have even more than that. I had like 18. I just removed them, put them in a different folder. In case I need them later, but but yeah, Oop, get on my side of the road. I got that down. Now what I'm fixing to do? Keep making. Hey, yeah, it's like a milk trigger. Uh, I gotta upload them to Dropbox and then make a link. And uh, I don't really want this get. Um, this is my turn. I don't really just want anybody to join, if you know what I mean. Uh, if you do join, I hope you respect my stuff and not just go drive my tractors and stuff in the river. That would be really disrespectful. I wouldn't do that to you. Uh... Crap, I forgot grass is not subject here. I can't forget. I think I could have uh, tethered this. I don't know what I can do. Put this over here. Or do our cows need it? Let me check the cows. Uh, yeah, our cows need some grass, but of course we don't have no cows. So I'm going to go ahead and dump this. We can always get some more for the cows later. Now, I'm not going to fill all these bunkers up. No, sir. Uh-uh. Actually, I think I'm going to stop about right there. Unload here. Oh yeah, nice big pile. I'll leave this guy here. This is the guy I want. Oh yeah, look at this tractor, folks. Oh, so sexy. Too sexy for my tractor. Too sexy for my tractor on the catwalk. Oh yeah. All right, folks. I, I, I'm sorry about that. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. I'm just kidding. All right. Don't hit the bailer, Mr. Blue. All right. Now, here's what I'm going to do. We're going to do a little GPS work. Set my thumb right there, turn that offset off, and we're going to move this baby over, and we're going to check, it don't quite look like I want, so, maybe right there, 
Yeah, that that looks a whole lot better right there. Let's try that. I say right there. That right there looks a whole lot better. I'll back up so I can get straight. And as you can see, LB and Y will allow to create fields. And then we're going to leave the road here that way anyway we're going to drop our plow about right there perfect you set your cruise oh it got over a little bit be all right though Get that GPS on the top there. Exhaust pipe and this other pipe on the side is for the air breather. And of course, uh, everything else. The uh, Cat Challenger is pretty much set up the same way. But uh, the John Deere that I was driving was small. When I was on the farm, you know, it was a prototype at the time. It was when it was first coming out. Which track's been out for a long time. They say they was just coming out, you know, for John Deere. But John Deere actually had a track tractor a long time ago. It was metal tracks, like a bulldozer. So... Turn around here. GPS is locked on. Let my plow down. And we'll get that V when we we'll go down that way. Now, you see how much bigger this field's going to be? But what I'm going to do, I'm going to come in here and plant grass. Yes, folks, I'm going to plant grass, not weed. Now, I'm not going to plant no weed. I'm going to plant grass. And, uh, we'll, uh, what's it called? Course play around for it. And we'll mow it, tether it, and put it in that thing. So we'll get some fuel and fertilizer. Because right now, all it's taking is silage. I haven't tried tether grass yet. But yeah, my videos are quite a few days ahead sometimes. Sometimes I kind of wait till the last minute and start recording again. And I know a lot of y'all might not watch my videos all the way through. That's fine too. But y'all might miss something that I have to talk about. I might, middle ways, start talking about something fun. Yeah, right, Mr. Boo, talk about something funny. Yeah, I know, folks. I'm not going GPS this right here. I'm I'm gonna come back with the roller, square up a little bit, and just making it square makes the GPS work better, or of course by I mean. And I'm gonna get that little uh, grasshopper deal to. Uh, well, no, I can't do that because it's gonna pick you up as it moves it. I wish you could lay, have an option to lay it down. That would be totally awesome. All right, I'm gonna get over here and scoot this over. Got to 
for it. See, there we go. So we will have to turn at this a little bit there. I don't know how that's going to work out. Other. That should work right there. Control W on the keyboard locks you. Yes. And off you go. Whoa. Yeah, I messed up there, didn't I? Oh well, I'm human. What is going on? What did I do? Oh, no, I know what I When I went to raise, I didn't raise up, uh, but I went LB right B and then B to set my speed. And uh, I guess I let off one of them too soon and raised it up. My bad, my bad. Now I do want to get some more wood for the other uh, wood place up there beside that one that we were at. And there's so much stuff to do. And see if I had a couple more people in here. I could have somebody on the sprayer to go ahead and be spraying. Somebody could be on the mower. I wouldn't rest that down there. Alrighty. Control W. Put this down. Go at it again. Maybe yeah, I'm gonna get the roller, make a little road right through there. Take those two trees out. And yeah, that's what we need to get in next. Just working and start picking out some trees, start making some money, so we get some more stuff, more ground. Now, if this was anything else, like oops, just a little bit. like a uh, planting or if I was already had this plowed out I'd hire a worker but anytime you create a, a new field you can't hire a worker it just won't let you and I don't blame it because some of these workers be sipping on a juice or something They'd be wanting to find a shade tree and a ditch or something Alright, we almost got this done. Almost done, huh? I just got to... I'm going to go all the way over here on the far side first. I'm going to go ahead and rotate my GPS now. Yeah, it does look like I'm going to have to reset it. Something just jacked out to this. Okay, I'm gonna scoot this over. Do 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 do. It's about right there. Set my GPS, and we'll plow. Yeah, about right. Okay. Uh, well, nobody over there playing basketball that today, so. I will plant that little field too. That used to be three separate little fields there, all the way down, and that big old thing right there. Look at that hot air balloon back here. That is pretty. My, me, myself, and I, I would like to get on a helicopter. I really would. But with me being, you know, I weigh 400 pounds. What? Yes, folks. Uh, I'm a big boy. 
Now, do I want to take this all the way down? Do I? I think I'm going to. We're here to plant soybeans over here or grass. All depends. I think I'm going to stop about right there. That way I have room to turn around. Lock GPS. Put my disc down. But yeah, folks, it's this. I just want to thank all y'all, especially the new ones. Uh, well, I'm going to say it's going to say something about the comments and stuff. You know, I can't get to everybody's comment right away, but I let it come to my my inbox because all my YouTube stuff goes straight to my inbox. Uh, like when the bell's on, it goes, whenever y'all make a thing, it goes straight to my email. Um, now the comments for YouTube, I wish, would go to my inbox, but, but you, you know where those go. So, uh, yeah. I get to them, I try to read them at least twice a day. But like today, I read one or two, uh, maybe three, watched one video right before I started recording, and then I made, what, two videos today, I think, or is it three? I, make, I think this is the third video I made today. Alright folks, looks like we got a little more. I'll probably just go all the way down on the next one and call it it. That's a pretty good size field. I see we got that spot over there for grass too, so. And then we got the other one over there, so we might turn this into a bean field or something. Uh-oh. Back up. There we go. Oh, that's every time. That back blade catches. But anyway, I'm going to take a roller to all the corners and stuff and make it square and we'll plant, we'll plant grass on here first and then we'll see how that goes. We'll tether it, mow it, tether it and all that good stuff. See if we can take, put hay in the biogas instead of grass. And if we can't, we'll just uh, put it in our mixer. A little ways to haul it, but it'd be all right. Now, well, this episode's going a little slow. Getting a lot done here, kind of. You know, to me, it is. Well, we're 30, what, 35 minutes in? Seem like I done told my life story to y'all. Which I, I like it. I like telling stories and stuff. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and fold this baby up. And now, I can hire a worker on this field. Right, I got to get down here. We got to spray it. Now 
not the whole thing, just the parts where I already plowed. Yeah, I love this bird. Oh. So that needs some brakes. I'm trying to adjust my wing over. Oh, there we go. That's about right. I wish somebody out there that does the mod would mod the this sprayer here with the sprayer add-on. Because look, folks, I can shut that right boom off and spray that section right there, and look how much I would save. And when I get down to like right here, I'm turning them both on. But, you know, I ain't had a chance to figure it out yet. So, yeah. <clears throat> Alright. Maybe I'm on the... I'm, I'm trying my best. I've been drinking the water and stuff. Trying to lay off some of the cokes. Uh oh. Ooh, we're in the valley. <clears throat> and uh, I'm trying to get in the shape for October the 6th and 7th and 8th when I go on vacation. So I do a little hiking with the kids. I hate that auto save. <clears throat> they don't watch my videos, so I can talk about it a little bit. But I'm thinking about uh, getting with my mom and stuff. We're going to go to town one day and get a couple of snacks and stuff. We're going to take a, a day hike. And about halfway in, and then turn around halfway back. Like four hours there, four hours back, something like that with the kids. Hopefully. You know, never know what's going to happen. And I don't have the money to support it, but you, you may look at me and like, well, you know, you don't do nothing like that, but I believe in prepping folks for what well, I can't say it on here because I'll get demonetized <clears throat> but like hurricanes and tornadoes earthquakes and stuff like that I believe in prepping putting food back medical supplies back stuff like that ammunition guns just in case for that big day to come all, right, all that is done folks I'm gonna let's go to garage for a minute I think we only got one planner there's our new combine yeah we got that planter right there fertilizers and plants looks like it got everything and let's see here Yep, we need to get us another planner. All right, folks. So, basically, this one planner. Oh, wait. I don't have to buy a tether. I got a tether. Okay. Two loader wagons. All right. So, basically, all I need is a different mower. So... Let's back up here. Oh, I went too far out. Went too far out. Let's go over to here. And next episode when we come on, we're probably going to get this. It's a John Deere mower. But it, it, this goes on the front, this goes on the back. You can't hook them together. We might get these two because you can hook this on and that on together and put it on the front of the tractor and put the tether on the back of the tractor. So we might just get 
actually this this yeah you can hook this in front and back so folks I think I'm gonna call it an episode right there um I think I'm gonna get the mower and a planter on the next episode so stay tuned to that okay um run a little short on time here kids just came home so uh a good 40 42 minute video look like i hope y'all enjoy it and to all my new subscribers out there thank y'all for support and support me and stuff and watching my videos um i will get to your video like i said I, i'm just going through the list watching everybody that way it's fair to everybody might be a day or two maybe sooner uh, but when the 6, 7, and 8 comes, I'm going to be a little behind when it comes on the night. So I will get to them and watch them. But folks, other than that, I hope y'all have a great day, a blessed day, and I will see y'all later. Bye.